Learn to 3D model this Padel racket in Ansel. Create a sketch in the Park Design Workbench. Select the Polyline tool. Then draw the following shape. Click left mouse button each time you want to create a new line. Right click twice to exit the tool. Add symmetrical constraints to all vertices. Select the dimension tool. Add this vertical distance. Also add this horizontal distance. Drag a vertex to reposition sketch lines. Select the dimension tool. And add a length to this line. It's time to add splines for the curved part. Select B spline by control points. Click to start at this vertex. Then add these control points. End at this vertex and right click to exit the tool. Add the following symmetrical constraints. Select the dimension tool. Select these control points. And add this vertical distance. Then select this upper sketch vertex. And add this vertical dimension. You can drag control points to reposition. Select the dimension tool and add this horizontal dimension. Now toggle sketch construction mode. Select the polyline tool. Draw this line between the splines. Right click twice to exit the tool. Select the dimension tool and add a horizontal distance to it. Double-click to change this distance. Add a dimension between these vertices. Enter a vertical distance. You can add a vertical distance to a diagonal line. Select it and click the Dimension tool. Enter a vertical distance. Let's drag some vertices to see what's loose. Make the spline and the line tangent. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad feature. Enter a symmetrical distance. Click OK to apply. You can switch to a perspective view here. Select these four edges while holding control. Select the fillet tool and enter a radius. Double click the fillet feature in the tree. Click select to see which edges are selected. Select the origin planes and press spacebar. Select the XZ plane and create a sketch. Hide the planes again with spacebar. Deactivate sketch construction mode. Select the rectangle tool. Draw the following rectangle.
Also make it symmetrical. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature and check reversed. Enter a length and click OK. Now select this edge. Select the chamfer feature. Select the distance and angle option. Enter a size and angle. Click the select button to add another edge. Select one more and click OK to apply. The other three edges must be separate chamfers. This is because the orientation is not right. Let's undo this one. Select the edge and click chamfer. Enter the same parameters again. You can flip it with this button. Click OK to apply. Let's add another chamfer. Also add this edge. It's wrong, remove it from the selection. And add a separate one. All edges are done correctly now. Some triangular cuts have to be added here. Double-click the first sketch you made. Select the Polyline tool. And draw two of these triangular shapes. Make corresponding edges equal. Also make all vertices symmetrical. First select the vertices and then the axis. Select the dimension tool. And add dimensions between the vertices. Also add the following line lengths. Finally add this vertical dimension. Click close to exit the sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. You see the cuts have been added here. Select the inside edges. Remember to hold control to select multiple edges. Select the fillet tool and enter a radius. It's time to add the grid of small holes in the racket. Show the planes and select the XY plane. Create a new sketch and hide the planes. Select the circle tool. Draw the circle and add a radius. Select the dimension tool. Click the center point and add a distance. Do the same for this vertical dimension. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pocket tool. Select through all and make it symmetrical. Select the pocket and click multi-transform. Right-click here and add linear pattern. Select and enter an offset. Enter five occurrences to create five holes. The holes are placed symmetrically. 
right-click and add another linear pattern. Select Vertical Sketch Axis. And enter the same offset again. Enter 7 occurrences. Also check Reverse Direction. Click OK to apply. Show the origin planes again. And create a sketch on the XY plane. Let's project one existing hole. Click this button for projecting geometry. Click this hole to project it inside this sketch. Then select the circle tool. Draw five circles below each other. Press spacebar on the last feature to hide it. Select all five circles while holding control. And make them equal. Select all the center points. And align them vertically. Select the Dimension tool. And add this distance. Enter the same distance between all other circles. Make sure the top circle is aligned horizontally. The diameter is still missing. Add it to one circle. Click close to exit the sketch. Show the model again. Select the sketch and create a pocket. Select through all and make it symmetrical. Select the pocket and create a mirror. The five holes are also on the right side now. Click OK to apply. Now select this edge. Select the chamfer tool. Check use all edges to chamfer them all. Click OK to apply. Change the color if you want. The Padel Racket model has been finished now. Please keep watching for more. Also check out my other channel for all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. Get commercial access to all my 3D files here to sell 3D prints. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.